okay, hello, how's it going? I'm recording audio with my phone because I didn't want to get my microphone. So hopefully it sounds fine. If it doesn't, it is what it is. Okay, hi, it's me, Alana. It's been a long time since I've made a video, but I am so excited for tomorrow. I was like, ah, sure, we can make a video, why not? So today I am planning and putting together all of my cord for baby, the Starshine Brights, New York Fashion Week event. And so today is Friday the 9th, meaning <laughs> tomorrow is going to be the event. So I am going to show you everything that I have that I already put together. Hopefully it looks fine because one of the things that I am planning on doing, I'm switching the shoes that I originally was planning on using. So I'm hoping it's going to be okay, but we will see. But first I'll show you kind of like my makeup and what I'm working with. The light that I'm using, unfortunately, is kind of like yellow. So maybe I'll try to do some correction as well and my hair is kind of crazy because it's after work and it is what it is but I think it turned out pretty good I'm doing like pink eyeshadow pink like glitter in the inner eye and then like pretty heavy blush honestly and then like a reddish lipstick um and then I will bring out the things I guess I'll uh I'll do the exciting part first so the main piece that I am wearing or bam <laughs> so I'm wearing sugar bouquet um, I like to lovingly, positively refer to this dress kind of, oh, this print as kind of like baby's version of AP's like misty sky. There's like a million versions of it. And for some reason it's still $500. Uh, but I got, actually got this one pretty cheap uh, because there was actually a stain on the bustle. And when I washed it one time, which by the way, I just was not thinking about this bleeding at all I was just like yeah I'm just gonna throw it in the wash mistake on my part but not really because it turned out fine but also when I was looking for the stain again after I had washed it I couldn't find it so you know good for me I guess <laughs> but it is the full shearing version which means it should be pretty comfortable uh for standing for like two hours so um that'll be exciting and putting on at like 6 a.m in the morning so that'll be good and then I have this little Shaw thing. So um, it should be like in the mid 50s is like the top as like the highest. And I think low degree weather, I think it's like, I don't know, I think it's like 40s or something, which for New York in February, I'm like, this is the one time that I'm okay with global warming happening because if it was a nightmare out there, I think I would cry. So um, anyway, <laughs> I have this little hood thing um hopefully it'll keep me warm enough um and it is also baby um and i got it for pretty cheap on mayakari um i think i got it for about like 50 bucks so um this is a last minute buy as well so pretty happy about this so this should be cute so this is what i'm gonna do for my head piece um i have my little cheap i think i bought this when i was actually living in japan but I made a little cheap beret and then I have this little this little baby clip because I really wanted something with the um with the logo in it. I actually have two of these clips, but I decided just one and it was fine because it was too much. <laughs> it just wasn't working for me, so I was like, one clip is fine. And then last but certainly not least, the hero of this whole thing, because let me tell you something. I did not think this was gonna come in on time. So when I ordered this, right, before I show it to you, when I ordered this, I did not know about the baby show. So I was like, I bought this from Zanyu, and um, I was like, oh, 20 business days so that I can save a little money, sure, we'll go for it, that sounds great. And then when the baby show happened, I was like praying, praying that it would come in on time. And today is Friday, right? The day before the show, less than like 24 hours, she came through. Yeah, that's right. Um, I will also, you know what? The other thing I'll do as well, um, I'll make sure to hopefully put in all the pictures of all the things that I am, am wearing. But yeah, this is my Usakumia. This is actually my first Usakumia um, ever. So the fact that I got this one is kind of it's kind of like advanced levels, I guess, <laughs> but I got it from Zanyu and I got it for a pretty cheap price. I'll put the, I can't remember exactly what price it is, but I'll put it on the screen um, when I look it up later. 
But yeah, she came in right on time and she is so cute. I have been wanting a brown Usakumia ever since I was like, I want to buy an Usakumia this year. So yeah, I'm so excited. Um, I probably will put my cell phone in here for that. And then um, two other things and then I'm going to put on this cord. Uh, and I lied, I have like three different things. So next, shoes. So originally I was going to actually wear um, rocking horse body line shoes, but I was like, absolutely not because um, like I said, we're, uh, so me and my calm, we're pretty much like all going together and we're riding the train in New Jersey at like nine to get there at like 11. And so I was like, oh yeah, maybe I could wear these shoes, but they're, mm, I just, listen, I don't want to die. I, I know like I look very young and youthful, but my soul is old and tired and I don't want to do that, especially in New York city. So we're going with the creepers, um, these like eight year old creepers that look pretty decent, but they have the little flowers on them. So I'm hoping that they'll look sweet enough for everything. So hopefully it'll be fine. And then second to last thing, I'm actually showing you the nails that I'm going to wear. I'm going to put them on after this um, so that I don't have to put them on in the morning. But these are the nails I'm wearing. They're just like little cheap nails that I got off of like AliExpress or something. Um, I, I buy a lot of nails in bulk and then for like, like once a year and then I just like don't buy them for a while. I think that's where I got these. But these are going to work too because another fun fact about this weekend is... On Sunday, we have a Valentine's Day meet, so which was planned like way more in advance than the um, fashion show. So it is what it is. I'm not uh, complaining, but uh, you know the little heart nails should look really cute. Uh, I'll put a picture of my um, Valentine's Day cord up as well. Hopefully, probably. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna manifest it, and I'm gonna say yes that I will. This is a really cute meta dress that I'm wearing. Uh, for a Valentine's Day tea. So, little heart nails, perfect for February. Okay, now now is the last thing, I think. 99% <laughs> sure. So, last but not least, the actual hero, like the Usakumia, she's cute, I love her, but the actual hero of this cord is gonna be this freaking tote bag. So, I got this tote bag from Meikari for like, a, I think it was 10 bucks or less. I think it was like more like nine bucks. And um, I did not realize how big it was. Like it's it's freaking huge and I'm so happy. Like, let me stand back. It's huge and I am so happy that I got it because I, listen, when I travel anywhere, I, listen, I just need stuff. I need stuff to be comfortable. I need stuff to be happy. It is what it is, okay? So... So I'll show you a little bit what I have in my bag. So the the one thing that you might have seen peeking out, it's this little it's this little chair thing or a little like stand thing that I literally got from Target. I was running around town trying to find this, like find something like this. It was a nightmare, but I'm like even if I don't use it, I imagine like somebody else can use it because um, I'm not sure what the actual situation is going to be when we get there. Are there going to be chairs? Are we gonna be able to sit down? I don't know, but it's pretty lightweight and I'm like, might as well bring it, it's worth it to me. So I have a bag in a bag because I wanted something with a zipper on it so I can put like my actual important stuff, like my keys. So I'll probably put my phone in the Uzakumia, but everything else, like I have allergy medication just in case I get sneezy or stuff like that, ibuprofen, uh, other silly things like that. Let me check to see if I have anything weird in here. I don't know. I already packed it. I have snacks in here as well. Yeah, it's just basic stuff. Like my little makeup bag and things like that. Um, yeah, it's pretty basic. But it's heavier than I thought it was going to be. But listen, it's either carry around a kind of heavy bag or cry. So I'm going to take that. I probably will still cry anyway, but it is what it is. Um, also, everything else that I'm wearing that I didn't already mention, it's all friend, um, Taobao, something like that. Um, but yeah. Okay. Hopefully this is fine. Okay. So, uh, don't mind the mess. Let's all ignore that. <laughs> so, this is the whole 
cord. This is her. Um, I mean, there are a couple things that I personally wish I, I could improve on. Like, I feel like this being pink would make things look better. At least in my mind, I think that they, they would. Maybe I wouldn't like it. I don't know. But, um, and then the shoes. I do wish that I felt more comfortable walking around in the rocking horse shoes. But it's just like, my two options are, you know, not look perfect or die. So this time around, I am going to choose to live. Now, next time, you know, things might be different. I might choose something differently. But this time, we're going to wear the more comfortable shoes. These shoes I walked in all the time, especially when I was in college. So I love these shoes. They're really comfortable. Um, and then also, like with this bag as well, like my little tote bag, I feel like I'm giving off like the energy of those people who wear like those big eat to bag like um capes and stuff like that for like baby the stars i'm bright which is not a negative thing it's not a negative thing it's just very um it's a lot which to be fair i love that i love the train it is what it is <laughs> um i live close to the train tracks um but uh it's not a bad thing that i'm giving off that vibe but um a lot of people are gonna also be very a lot with their baby cords so i'm sure that it's fine um but yeah i think that is going to be everything for this right now i will see you guys tomorrow with the um show itself a little bit of travel time things like that and um i'll also show you like the little tiktok reel thing that i made with the cord for tomorrow but i need to get to sleep because i need to wake up in like seven hours so um, and it's going to be more like six by the time I, I get into bed. So, all right, that's all for now. Bye-bye. I am back from the show. I'm back home and it is currently about 10 42 p.m. And I'll just like get out of the way. I had such a great time. It was great. Um, I was with my con. So, you know, being like around friends and everything, it was just the vibes were fantastic. So we went to the show by train and we got to the line at about 10 30 in the morning and we were pretty close to the beginning of the line so like we could basically see the beginning of the line from where we were um and when we got there there were people who were doing like the street snaps which like a lot of people i think already knew about that and so we were like signing out like our little forms and stuff which was really fun i should have taken a picture of like the form so people could see like what was on it but it was just asking like it's just basic stuff um like your instagram name things like that um and it was like a little waiver too um and like asking about your hobbies and what your cord was and all that stuff and pretty much i think no i think everything i have that is like a lolita brand that i'm wearing is baby so it was just a lot of writing <laughs> baby for everything but that was really cool and then there was definitely a lot of lolitas that i follow on instagram that i look up to that i got to um meet and see and talk to which was really fun as well and for actually getting into the venue it wasn't it, it was just you know you, you got like a little qr code in your email 
and it was just that like it was pretty simple they didn't even ask for id it was it was really chill the room itself was very like industrial type of thing i mean they decorated and stuff and they had like a little screen um and stuff but i mean it's what you kind of would expect for it so um and then like they had like the little flowers and stuff at the bottom of the floor and, and things like that so they they tried to make it cute <laughs> um and we got into the actual venue at about 1 p.m i think on the tickets or so they were saying like 12 30 i was not expecting for us to get in by 12 30 but um standing in line for like two hours he's like i would like for that to happen but it is what it is so for my ticket and most of my com we had like general admission tickets which means like we didn't have a seat but i'll get to that in a moment and so they just told us like basically like just stand over in this area so we stood kind of like it, most of us stood mostly in like the back part and we walked around and like stood in the back which i think was like the better experience and then some of the people who like won the lottery they had like actual number tickets and then like the little seats that were the benches there they had like the numbers for um the tickets if you if it was numbered and so like if you had a number ticket you got like a gift bag which i will also get to in a moment so there were two rows the second row um just had like a like little plastic store gift bag and then the first row had like little gift bags but in those ones they had little mini usakumias and i'll show a picture of what it looks like and they're yeah they were super cute um but for the first row especially there were definitely a lot of what i would consider like normie people i mean there's still like fashion people i guess but like they were not lolita people i should say um which I think a lot of people were feeling the same way. It's like, it's not so much that I'm jealous about like getting the little Usakunya. It's like, I don't know, like you kind of, you want that to go to someone who won the lottery, like an actual Lolita, I feel like, because some of them definitely didn't know what was going on, which is kind of the only kind of downside I would say to the show. But I mean, that's to be expected for you know new york fashion week it is what it is so the show itself it started at like 1 30 but it was supposed to start at 1 so it wasn't like that late or anything and it was so amazing i will put a link to the show because it was streamed on youtube so if you want to see the full thing and you don't want to see my you know subpar <laughs> videos um of the show you can watch that instead the dresses of course were gorgeous and they did have a very like surprisingly diverse like cast of models um i know like a lot of people were expecting for it to be mostly white and like east asian models but they definitely had a good handful of black models and even one of them had like box braids and they like put like ribbons and stuff in her hair and it was just like so pretty and it's like it's like a fun little inspiration for people too who have natural hair who have like box braids and stuff so that was really nice so i know that like again going back to the nomalitas that were there i know some of them kind of were a little i'm gonna uh politely use the word like uppity about it they just like weren't that respectful towards it you could tell that they were just not really vibing with it they didn't really like it they were like <laughs> they just didn't get it so again that was probably like the only downside to the whole thing after the show we were like promptly like kicked out and i was just kicked out of the venue because that makes sense like we were standing pretty far down the sidewalk <laughs> and even then the guards were like you gotta leave even though we were like completely out of the way i know some people because they were doing like their um street snap stuff as well they were like across the street and at some point they got kicked out too and i was like it's kind of frustrating but it is what it is i don't know and then after that i just like chilled with my calm and we got food and stuff and it was really nice 
And then we got back onto the train and now I'm home. So, going back to the backs. So, um, in the show, uh, like probably maybe like t- 10, 5 minutes before the show itself started, there were still like some empty seats in the second row. And so they did let some people move up to the second row. And so I was able to get... I was able to get um, a second row bag, so I will show you. This is my little haul, my mini, my mini haul from the show. I will show you the, in my opinion, like the less exciting stuff first. So these, they're, um, these are like postcards that came in the second row bags and also the first row bags as well. So I gave away a lot of the cards to the rest of my com, um, who like didn't get stuff. So I only have like four left and honestly, this is the only one that I actually want. The rest of these, I'm like, these are cute and I'll keep them and I'll do something with them probably if nobody wants them, but they're really nice too because on the back, they talk about fashion week as well. So I was like, it's just like a cute little memento from the day. So I just had so much fun uh, today and so I'm really happy that I have this as well and then the bag too that's really nice and then another thing that it okay here's the thing it is a little ghetto I'm not gonna lie it was a little ghetto but listen I was not the first one to do it and I certainly was not the last one to do it so it's fine (laughs) so like I was mentioning they decorated the floor with like flowers and ribbons and stuff like that and so at the end of the show people were taking the flowers off of the ground so they had um blue ones and pink ones so I just took one of each I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with these yet I may like make them clips or something or put them as like an accessory or maybe like a little corsage or something or put it on a bag maybe I don't know but I'm so glad that I got these as well they're very they're cute and again another fun little memento and then one more thing um here's the child um one more thing that i wanted to show so i know they were also giving away like little bracelets friendship bracelets i didn't get one and i didn't know who was giving them out so i didn't know who to ask and i wanted one um i was like well not freaking out but i was like trying to get myself situated in line but what i did get as I did get a little Usakunia cookie. I don't I don't know if it there it is. There she is. She's kind of falling apart a little bit in my bag. So it's still blurry. We're just gonna deal with it. Cause I it this thing, I need to get a new camera to be honest with you. Um so sorry, it's blurry. At least the cookie showed up. So I'm gonna try it. I know on Instagram or not Instagram, it's Twitter. Twitter, the person who made the cookies was posting on there and oh i'll show a better picture too because i took a a picture of my friend's cookie because by the time that i was like oh my gosh i should take a picture of this before it gets ruined it it got ruined so i got a better picture of it so i'm gonna try i'm excited it's good it's like a shortbread cookie i'll have that later but yeah that's pretty much everything we still have a blurry camera so she is what she is move on with that uh tomorrow i have tea so that's exciting and um yeah i do really want to try to make uh i have this really big idea for this alita video that i want to make but it's going to take a little bit more time i've written most of this script but i have to get some input from my com first and like do a little survey so if i get around to it march i have to take a look at i'll have to take a look and see what time how much time i have to film just because i'm just so busy but if I have time, I would love for it to come out in March. If it doesn't come out in March, we'll see. <laughs> but that's everything. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, and yeah, that's all. All right, bye-bye.